Hi guys, my name is Abba. Welcome back to my amazing kitchen. In today's video, I am showing you how I make my homemade tomato puree. So come along and let's get right into the video. And as you know, it's another easy and simple one. So I've got here some very fresh and ripe tomatoes. I'm using vine tomatoes, but you can use aroma tomatoes or any tomatoes of your choice. As long as they are very ripe, it is good to use. Quickly rinse your tomatoes with some fresh cold water. And after that, I'm going to soak it in some vinegar solution and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. After that, I'm going to drain the vinegar solution and give it another rinse with some cold water. So now transfer your freshly washed and cleaned tomatoes into a big pot. Now transfer your pot to your stove and add enough water to cover your tomatoes. My pot looks too full right now but as the tomatoes cook down they will shrink down a bit and it will still fit my pot. Once you add your water, bring this to a boil and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. So at this point, my tomatoes beneath my pot are cooked. So I'm going to take some out so the tomatoes on top can sink down and also cook as well. I will now allow the tomatoes to cook for an additional 10 minutes until all the tomatoes are softened up. I will now go ahead and strain my tomatoes and allow it to sit in my colander for about 5 minutes. This will help to drain off the excess water. This will also prevent your tomato puree from becoming watery. Now transfer your drained tomatoes into a blender and blend until very smooth and thick. Due to the quantity of the tomatoes, I had to do this in batches. So depending on how much you are making, you may have to blend a couple of times. Now strain your blended tomatoes into a large pot using a sieve or a colander. You just have to make sure that the holes in your colander are not too big because we want to separate the seeds from the tomato puree. So now we are left with the seeds and the skins and we are going to discard this. We are now left with this beautiful, thick and silky tomato puree. You can go ahead and use it as is, but I'm going to boil it for an extra 30 minutes just to make it more thicker. So after 30 minutes, my tomato puree is all done. It's so thick and it coats the back of my spatula just like this. To preserve my tomato puree, I'm going to go ahead and add about a teaspoon of sea salt and a squeeze of some lemon juice. Don't go overboard with your lemon juice or your tomato puree will become very acidic. I used a little less than half of a lemon, so about a tablespoon or two teaspoons of lemon juice. So finally, our tomato puree is all done, ready for your stews, for your jollof, for your soups, and everything you need tomato puree for. I'm going to bottle mine in a clean and sterilized bottles and then store it in my refrigerator. It will last up to about two weeks in your fridge, but last for months in your freezer. If you made a lot of tomato puree, 
You can also boil your bottled tomatoes for about 20 minutes and that will last up to about a year and over in your cupboard. So there are so many ways in preserving this, just find out what works for you and stick to it. This is such a time saver. So I hope you are able to make this so that you can spend less time in the kitchen and spend more time on the things that matter most to you. So on this note, I thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye!